Oh, look at that view. So we are back on the garage. This is where I did that pattern. You can see the return. Did that pattern a couple of days ago and I've just been doing a bit of brick work, a bit of block work up there. We're gonna be doing the pattern across the front today. A couple of things I didn't show in the previous video, which I figured I'd talk about a bit today. It is, what time is it? 20 past nine. So sun's coming up, so it should be quite warm today. It's about one at the moment, but as soon as that sun comes out, it's gonna be a nice day. So let's crack on. Set to rock and roll. There we go, that only took about five minutes. Um, little note, when I do my queen's closures here, sometimes I do prop them a little bit, and you can prop all your bricks really, if they're leaning a bit far forward. And I've just smothered the queen's closures and my closures in compo, just to make sure they're a bit stronger, not floating about anywhere. Now, when I do my pattern uh, and I do the return, I always bring it a bit further than well, not then you should, but just a bit further because you often see it on new builds where they do a nice pattern up the gable and then it totally misses the corbel. So I've returned this 900 mil. I've returned it quite a lot because it's 300 mil a pattern, so it's big and it's bulky. So you don't want all that crammed in the corner. So that's one thing. And then when you do your pattern, like I say on new builds, sometimes you see it, they do a nice pattern here and then they'll do a nice pattern up the gable. And then when the pattern comes to land, it totally misses the, uh, the corbel. So it, the pattern's like off here and the corbel's over there. So I always return it plenty to make sure the pattern lands on the landing strips, I call it. Really nice. So yeah, that's why I've returned it so much. Anyway, we're gonna crack on, get back to it. This one, uh, this side is actually a lot easier than the other side because I'm about two foot high rope, so I can actually cast my eye down and see how everything's looking. And again, let's have a little look. Not bad. Spot on. Sand. I have to pop that in the freezer again. Sometimes I think when you're uh, 
people, when you're laying these over sailors, you kind of overcompensate tapping on the back. So in turn, it ends up going that way. So it is all like here. You can't, I don't know if you can see that, but I've tapped it too much on the back. So it's always good to double check. You don't need much of a tweak in all fairness. And then the plus these bricks are rustic looking. You can kind of get away with it. So it's not like the super square engineering bricks. So it's just gone 10 o'clock, which, you know, not bad. Well, it's not good, but it's not bad. Someone made a really good point about these uh, guttering clips, what I'm building in. They're probably gonna hide half the pattern, which I don't even think of that. I don't think the customer, or the lad whose job it is has thought of that. But you should see the pattern going up the gable end anyway, so it don't matter too much. In all fairness, I don't really rate these because they're smooth, smooth galvanised. Even though you build them in, they don't, uh, they're not solid. Like you can still wiggle them about even when it's gone off. But if it was, uh, if it had a couple of markings on, and a few grooves might not do that so much. I don't like building these in anyway because you always knock them and have half your job there. So it is quarter past 10 and yeah, we're getting on pretty well in all fairness with you. Just gonna set this up right now and then we're gonna get this dog to then. Pretty, pretty easy really. Definitely going a lot quicker than it was a couple of days ago. So it's like I did a little refresher course down there. So we're gonna get this set and get blasting. So let's crack on. Here we go, so we have set this one and we have set this one up here. Uh, this is why I like using that little line trick because the line, you can see it's tight, but I don't have to faff about with it. Literally, once it's on, it's on and I just keep lifting it up and over. Now, something to take note of, these dog tooths are running this way, yeah? You can see that they're coming out this way so all these are going to be laid like this and then this one over here is laid like this so they're going to be coming out like that okay so in theory they're actually running opposite ways to each other but what you do you run it from one side so I'll run it from this side over to there and I'll show you around here you put a little fakie in so this was running that way and then these were running this way. But when I got here, where was it? I think it was this one. I just snapped um, a header banging off and just kept this face and this face and put that in. Obviously this little gap here is slightly less than these but you're not really gonna see it. Just a little tip, um, as I've been guilty of it as well. You know when you trap your line out, make sure you have two laid first, right? Trap it back with this brick, and then trap it forward with your next brick. And then that way you're not messing about, just trying to trap it all in one. I've just messed that up now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so hard with one hand. There we go. 
there we go. <laughs> so yeah, trap it with that one and then trap it properly into position with another brick. Right, let's crack on. I've got a 12 inch travel. Right. Now let my fingers. <laughs> Ooh, Isaac, slow down. Okay, so we are pretty much done and this is what I was talking about earlier so we've got these bricks coming this way and then we've got the start of the pattern going this way so what I've done I cut a little brick down to slot in there so that angle is the same as these and that is still 45 but this face is just a lot smaller than these faces here. But no one will see it. So a couple of days ago, when I did my oversailers on top of my dog tooth, I was putting my closures in. And this is my queen's closure here, my 40 mil. And I had to do a right balancing act to hold it. It kept wanting to fall off. Today, I'm thinking a bit more. That's what I'm gonna do instead. Should last a lot longer and uh, you don't have to do a silly balancing act. Right, let's crack on. Don't know why I didn't think about doing this the other day. No matter what you do here, it's not going to be the prettiest. It, it's going to need a bit of tweaking, I think. But at least it's better than what it was. I'm quite impressed with that. I don't know why I didn't think about that earlier. Right, I'm currently sat in the van having a cup of tea, or a cup of coffee. It is about 20 to 12, I think it is. Yeah, quarter to 12, which ain't too bad. Uh, it's going loads quicker than it was a couple of days ago. Like I say, it was the first time I'd done it in ages. Uh, probably about a year and a half when I first did that pattern. Uh, a couple of days ago so it's a bit rusty on it whereas today i'm just like blasting in not really thinking about it which is nice uh, and then yeah then i should be done by about done by about half 12 maybe one with both returns and i'll probably build onto the returns a bit just to 
stirred it up a bit. And then once I've done that, I'll probably hop on the old brickwork on this barn. So that'll be fun. And that's about it really, nothing really to report. Pretty steady. Almost 2,000 subscribers. I'm one subscriber off 2,000, I just checked. <laughs> Buzzing, that's cool. That's really cool. Sad. Anyway, I will catch you all in a bit when we're back on the scaffold. I'm going to finish this cup of coffee. Sad. <laughs> buzzing. I've just hit 2,000 subscribers, which is really cool. I'm buzzing with that. I can't believe that. It's happened quite quick. I think, when did it start? I started about five months ago. Uh, the video I uploaded a couple of days ago was my 50th video. So, yeah, 50 videos. Look at 50 videos, 2,000 subscribers. That's cool, man. Buzzing with it. Yeah, really happy. So, nice one. Cheers to everyone who like, likes, comments, and some, you know, the, the comments and things like that. That's like the best part, really. Like the community uh, I've grown to know is nice. So, buzzing. Nice one, everyone. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Sad. <laughs> like I say, it's a bit risky doing this because it's still going to be so green tomorrow when the scaffolders are here. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to do this today. But, you know, because I can guarantee it'll get knocked down or something will, won't it? Yeah. So, over sailors are done. Now all I need to do, nice little chop with all the snots. And should be ready to go. Just a bit of uh, prettying up, but nothing too major. That's why I leave all the snots on. So you just come to it, cut them off, and it's pretty much, pretty much good to go. Just a little play with the uh, small trowel. Oh, bloody hell. Right, I tell you what, that temperature has proper dropped. Right, I'm just doing my return now. So, I want it to end with a header. So I've put my header there, and I've just run it out dry, just to make sure it all goes on nice. And I've had to cut a little one here. I can probably replace it, actually, because it's cracked there. Um, but yeah, I've just run this out, just to make sure it works. So yeah, let's crack on with this. Right, we are just doing our final return. And then as you can see, we need to use a little pointing trowel to fill that with compo. And then this gable lands properly on this. Just a couple of things to really take note of. When you end your corbel, really make sure it's plumb the best you can. It's not far off that. 
probably could do with tapping that last brick over. But we'll saw that in a bit. And then you want to make sure that it properly ranges in. And then to make sure it's not going off in the distance, when you range it in, when you look at your brickwork, make sure that your level's not like that or going out like that. You're looking for an equal distance the whole way down to your existing brickwork. Same goes up here. If you cast your eye, see what I mean? Sand. Here you are, I just want to show you how decent this brush technique is. So that's what it looks like now. A couple of circle motions. There we go, beautiful. We're getting there, we're getting there. There we go, we are just about done for today. The temperature dropped massively and the gear just become almost unusable. But we got everything done, what we needed to. We're ready for scaffolding tomorrow. Hopefully the scaffolders don't knock this. If they do, I will be fuming. I filled the frogs in with compo uh, just because everything was so loose. So in my head, that's gonna strengthen it. If it will, I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much job done. I'm gonna hop on the barn tomorrow and I'll be laying some really, really old bricks, which will be fun. But anyway, sand. Got to cover it up now with Essien. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Buzzing with 2,000 subscribers, sorry. That is proper awesome. So thanks a lot for all the support, it means a lot. Right, let's get out of here.